What's up guys? Welcome back to Working for Scratch. Today I'm at Keaton Park, back for round two. Well, really round three. Second full round out here. Uh, the goal today is uh, I really want to break 80. Uh, last time I was out here, I just made some stupid mistakes. Could have shot a lot better. So goal is to break uh, 80. It is 100 plus degrees out here today, Texas. First swing of the day. Um, it's hole one, just hitting an iron off the chi, trying to put something up there. Not the best swing I've ever made, but it worked out just fine. All right, so the GPS on my phone says uh, 140 something, but the pin's up. So it's really playing 120, 122, something like that. So I'm just gonna hit a uh, 52 here. See if I can get something up there. It's all over it if it's long enough. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Okay, that one worked out fantastic. I've got, it's a little long of the pin, but I will take that all day. I have a putt for birdie here on the first. All right, so I have this left for the birdie. It is a long putt, uh, but I will take it. Uh, that pin is right up by the front edge. So short was really not what I was hoping for at all. Look fairly straight. I'm not really sure how fast these greens are rolling or not, so I'm just gonna go a little right of the cup and just really kind of get an idea of the pace with this one. Or make it. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Take that all day. Okay, hole number two, it's a par three. Um, it is playing right at 180 yards today. Uh, I'm going to hit the seven iron, the 101 T seven iron. Um, pins on the front, so I figure a little long is okay. Uh, and I think that that's what this should do. We'll find out. a little right. I think I just got over the bunker on the right. Hit it really well. Yeah, that strike felt incredible. Uh, I was trying to play a little draw, but I just pushed it out to the right a little more than I was hoping for, and it did not come back. So uh, I think pretty good for distance, but we'll see when we get up there. Just on the fringe down here, just up against the uh, where it goes from the fringe to the little, little bit thicker rough, so. I pop this up, let it run out. Oh no. Oh, it was fluffier than I expected. All right, we have this for par putt. Not what we're hoping for. Normally, I would be marking my ball when I do all of this, but it's just me out here. And you guys, I guess, if you're watching this. Realistically, a two putts, what we're hoping for here. Ooh. Kind of thought that was going to come back left. This one's a little bouncy, but... Okay, let's try to clean this up. Oh no. And that's just sloppy. Wow. Wow. Yep. That sucks. On to the third. 
third is a 520 something yard par five uh, but there's trouble right it's trees it gets really narrow up there about the landing zone for where my driver would be so i'm just gonna hit a four iron try to hopefully uh stay in the short stuff and then maybe take a go at it with the second just depending on where that first one goes so hit a four iron out there try to give myself a look with the second Oh man, oh man. See, that's why you play four iron there. Hit a low stinger. I mean, almost missed the golf ball with how thin that was. I really should tee those up, but since I'm still trying to compress them, even off the tee, mentally for me, if I leave it on the grass, I think it helps me kind of commit to hitting down on it. Just not on that swing. All right, so not exactly what I would suggest doing here, but it's 3.30 um, to the green, so still a long ways to go. Um, the ball's kind of sitting up here, a little fluffy, and I think long is better than short with the layup. So I'm gonna try to hit a slice with this driver and just see if I can get up there past a bunch of the junk. Um, not sure, like I said, not sure this is a great plan, but we're gonna do it anyway, just see what happens, so. Yeah, pick a target. Oh no. Wow. That was terrible. There's a green over there that I just went up and over, like it rolled over. Thankfully no one was over there. So yeah, don't do that. <laughs> I made this hole significantly harder. Yeah. Oops. Okay, so really bad shot. Uh, put me in a very bad situation, which is here with all these trees. I can't go directly at the green because there's well, a tall tree I have no chance of climbing over. So I'm going to try to hit this out to the left here. Try to get over these trees and give myself something of a chance at an up and down. So I'm lucky I didn't go further because there's woods out there. But here we go. Oh, come on. Nope. Just did not get all of it. All right, here's what we're looking at. Um, weird lie, it's on some really hard ground, dried out Texas dirt. Um, just gonna try to punch one up there. If it stays on the green, that'd be awesome. I'm really not sure what to expect here. Should try to punch one up there. Get down. Oh. All right, it was hit well, just a little long. I'll take it. All right, left myself a little short-sighted here. I'm just gonna try to trickle this one on. It's all running away though. Oh, hello. Okay, I'll take that. And he does it. Oh, what a tragic golf hole. I don't know if I mentioned it, but it is 100 degrees out here, so it's quite warm. Anyway, on to the next hole. Traffic around here. It's a 360 yard or so, par four. Uh, but this fairway is super narrow. There's really no reason to take this on with a driver, so. It's a uh, four iron all day, hopefully. Yep, I like that. 
So what I was trying to do with that is not do anything. Um, normally when I step up, I'm trying to hit a draw or a fade and then, you know, if I don't draw it, it's out to the right. Don't fade it, it's out to the left. So my thought was, let's just try to hit one straight. If it draws a little, okay. Fades a little, okay. And uh, that one stayed pretty straight. You know when you try to play it smart and it totally bites you in the butt? Well, that kind of what happened here. Hit it where I wanted to, but now I'm blocked out by a tree. I'm gonna have to try to sling a wedge around it. Uh, this will be fun. All right, so what I'm gonna attempt to do here is actually uh, a little choke down pitching wedge. Um, it's about 140 something yards to the pin. But I'm gonna choke down, try to play this out to the right with a, and let it hook back. I think that's really the only chance to get it somewhat close. Um, yeah, well. Nope, you know what, I'm gonna do that. I'm going to try to hit a nuclear 48 degree wedge here uh, and just try to go up. If I get up a little short, that's okay. I'm gonna aim it out to the right with a little, little bit of a shut face. Just try to go up and around and uh, see if I can do something special. Yeah, that sounds fun, right? Well, I may have done it. <laughs> that did exactly what I wanted it to do. Went up, there's a little, little gap there, maybe you saw in the tree. Went up around there, it's on the green. It's a little right, maybe, I don't know, 12, 15 feet or so. But I will take that every single day. All right, so here's the birdie putt. Um, I think it's gonna be a little right to left. Yeah, try to put some good pace on it. These greens are not rolling super fast today. Okay, now this is where before I phoned it in and ended up with a uh, double. Try to take a little more time here. Actually, commit to a commit to a good putt. There we go. I will take a par there any day. It's, uh, it's a very narrow hole and there's lots of trouble. So uh, coming out of there with the par is always gonna be good in my book. Fifth out here at Keaton Park is a tricky par four. I have never played this hole well. Um, so why start now, right? Uh, <laughs> no, it is a super narrow. Again, it's a big feature of most of the front nine. Super narrow, um, but it opens up you can get down there far enough. And uh, if you're short, you just leave yourself with a totally closed off shot into the green. So I'm gonna hit driver here. I'm not saying it's a good plan, but if I'm gonna be in trouble, I'm gonna be in trouble that way. It's the first driver swing of the day. So who knows where this is going. Uh, it's just gonna be hit hard, hopefully. Yeah, here we go. That is as good as I can hit a driver. And you know what? <laughs> that is up by the green, I think. Whoa. Um. That was bombed. Uh, yeah. Um, that's how you want to play this hole if you can hit the driver like that. Cleared everything, bounced up there. I think the last time I played this hole, I had like a six. And the time before that, maybe an eight. I don't know, I've never played it well. That drive ended up uh, pin high uh, over here in the rough. So yeah, that was bomb. Um, it's not in a great lie though, but I'm gonna go film this from up by the pin. Camera placement might be wishful thinking here, but uh, I'm hoping I don't end up that far past the hole. This has been driven over when it was wet, so it is a mess. Wow, yeah, not excited about that. All right, okay, well, we're gonna 
to try to open the 56 up, get it up in the air, maybe get it to land softly. We'll see. Oh no. I mean, there's just so much, so much mud and junk over here. Totally chunked it. All right, well. Get up, stop. Okay. Yeah, kind of making a mess of this hole. Um, even though it was right by the green, that lie was, I mean, it was just sitting down. It was basically looked like a fried egg in the rough and just totally chunked it. So let's try to make a putt maybe. There you go. Uh, I will always take a par, even after that drive. All right, hole six out here, it's a par five. <clears throat> 560 something yards. A little daunting off the tee, because you get trees right, trees left. Uh, but when you get over those, it opens up out there. So it's uh, not as scary, but if you can get the ball in the air, it's not as scary as, not as, scary as it looks. So that's what I'm gonna try to do here. Just get this up in the air, hit something like I did last hole. All right, so I pushed that shot out here to the right in these trees. Um, really no chance to go for the green. So what I'm gonna try to do is hit a five iron through this opening in front of me just give myself something um, into the green. So that's the, that's the thought here. Keep it low, just get it out there. Oh no. Wow. That was a tragedy. That was a golfing tragedy. You would think that I would play the par fives better than I am. I wouldn't think that, just because I play golf with me all the time. <laughs> you would think I could play these par fives better, and uh, I can, I'm just not. So, that was terrible. But it's actually going to kind of work out. So, I'm fine. I have 220 yards to the pin. That's going to be a, a good five iron because long is dead here. So I'm gonna hit a five iron out of this rough. And if it's short, that's okay. Okay, so this lie, um, not bad sitting up. So I'd anticipate it's been kind of a flyer. There's forward in my stance, see if I can get some height on it as well. Oh no. Swung up on the ball and hit it in the water. Drop another one right here. Do that again. I'm not really sure where that went. It's a rocket towards the left side of the green. Saw bounce, and then I have no idea. So, we'll find out. All right, so the ball stayed in right there. Uh, there's this giant tree right there. And then the flag's over there. So, yeah, not really sure what we're gonna do here. Looks like the only real play here is to go out to the right there's really no way to get through this tree and the flag is directly behind it. I'm just going to try to put something out here to the right. Stays on the green. Great. I just really want to be up that direction. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to try to punch a wedge up there. A little short, but I'll take it. 
Okay, so I'm just trying not to think about the score at all and really just think about the next shot. Try to hit a little, just a little bump and run in there. Maybe get up and down. Slow down. Ah. As you can see, wedge game not my strong suit by any means. Just getting the feel right. Um, standing over a wedge, you need to spend a lot more time with it. I know that'll help significantly lower my scores. But hey, this putting's feeling better. After fixing my calculations, that's up and down for an eight. <sighs> anyway, on to the next one. Hole seven's about 400 yards. I'm filming from way over there because it's hot out here and I wanted the camera to be in the shade. And uh, yeah, that's why. So anyway, I hit driver, try to put one out there, try to forget that last hole. There is water down the right, but it shouldn't be in play short, and it shouldn't be in play long. So, just gonna take one, aim right down the middle. If it turns over a little, that's okay. That's the, uh, that's the plan here. Ah, uh, it's out right. Okay, so that's where the ball is. That's water. That's the green. Um, again, I didn't think this water was in range, but it was, and I got very, very lucky. 85 yards out of a super fluffy lie, so take a 60, just try to go up and see if we can get it to land softly. Just get there, get there. <sighs> that was always the risk, coming up short. It's in the fairway, so good lie. Just trying to figure out where I want to land this thing. Okay, this has a, this has a super clean lie. I think I can get some spin on it. I'm gonna have some fun with this. Just try to go up, get it to land softly. Wow, okay. And that worked out pretty well. So that's some of the biggest things that I've been working on with my short game, putting and wedges is, tend to grip pretty, pretty hard when I'm going after it with the driver or the irons. I like to make full swings at it. But with the wedges, I'm uh, going a little too, too much sometimes. It's hard to get that finesse. So I'm trying to, softer hands, that's what I think about when I'm putting. And when I think about, what I'm trying to think about more with the wedges, so. There we go. Par. All right, we are on to Hole seven, I think. It is uh, 175 yards, par three. Now the flag is back, um, and it's on this tier. And it's a pretty severe tier, so my plan is to hit a seven iron, try to hit a seven iron left side of the green, maybe let it cut back. And uh, I'm gonna choke down on the seven iron just a little bit, try to take a little bit off and yeah just get all the way back there to that pin oh it's a little left hit well all right good for distance just pulled that a little bit left off the green over here on the right but we are high enough that we're already up on this ridge which is good so, 
I'm just gonna try to pitch this one up there. Again, soft hands. Let it release. Go from there. I will take that all day. All right, let's see if we can clean this up for par. Oh, no. Just pulled it. Man, hit the best chip that I've hit in a long time and then the putting just Fails me. All right, we are on to the ninth, which is the last hole of this part. And uh, we have six over right now. Not great, uh, but really just a lot of unforced errors. So this hole, again, it's kind of a, a little bit of a scarier looking tee shot, but i um, just gonna swing away, pick a target, and uh, try to close this nine with something good. Last time I played this course, I played one tee up from the back. And uh, that definitely changes how this course feels. All right. All right, I like that. I like that. That is a bomb down the left side. Oh man, uh, it looked like it was 300, looked like it was 320 plus to get to the trees up here on the left. Um, which I really didn't think I was gonna get to, but I may have, so we'll see. Okay, so not only did I get to the trees, the trees start back there and I am up here so about 70 yards into this green um, yeah I need to start recalculating how far I think I hit my driver okay so obviously not really gonna go up with this um, really hard ground here so my thought, because the flag is back there a little bit, is take a 48 degree, try to punch it and get it to land and roll up as best I can. Um, so that's what I'm gonna try to do. Little, yeah. Little three quarter swing, a little less than that. Just roll out, roll up, roll. Roll. All right, I'm gonna film this from up here. It's a very long birdie putt, but really just trying to get down in two if I can. Try to hit one up there. It's uphill the whole way, so definitely gonna have to give this a run. Okay. Okay, it's just Inside left edge, it's gonna to fall to the right. There we go. All right, well that's the end of the front nine here, Keaton Park. I believe I end uh, six over par with a lot of unforced errors. So try to clean this up on the back nine. And I think it's a bit more open, if I remember correctly, it's a, it's a bit more open. So yeah, I will see you over there.